Welcome everybody to a brilliant Battlemania match between Beaumont as the High Elves against Kafka as the Dark Elves. This battle commenced on Shargrass Strand for quite the epic duel. This here was the final game in a best of three in the Battlemania Season 3 Invitational, with the winner there going through to the semi-finals, so lots here on the line. But for the Dark Elves, we have two units of Harpies here, one on each side, very good at cleaning up any broken units, with four units of the Anti-Large Dread Spears in the front, and two units of the Anti-Large Armor Piercing Elite Black Goron Agrond here in the back. We're also going to have the very good terror-causing Sisters of Singing Doom. These ladies also coming with their Madness of Cain with that really nice Rampage mechanic. We're also going to be having three units of the Reaper Bolt Throwers here in the middle pocket in this very nice box, coming with the anti-large armor-piercing shots and the very fast Dark Rider shields here in the back. For the Hero Core, we're going to have the very nice Catholite Assassin. You're having a few abilities here, including the Web of Shadows for that slow, and also coming in with the Assassin's Trophy. We're also going to be having the Death Hag today. She will be coming only here with the Chill Blade. Very good for that negative 5 melee attack and negative speed. For the Lord Choice, we'll be having Marathi. She's going to be having the Heart Render and the Dark Sword, as well as the Enchanting Beauty, Life Leeching, and Soul Stealer. Now, the really nice thing about her items with the Heart Render and the Dark Sword and the Enchanting Beauty, that's going to be negative 18 melee attack and the plus extra 5 there from the Chill Wind, making a massive negative 23 melee attack for all units in a 40 meter radius. Also, there's going to be negative melee defense and the sniping potential here from the Assassin coming in with his trophy as well. So, all sorts of units of heroes and lords have to be very careful whilst fighting this elite box. Here for the Hiles, we are going to have a few units in the trees here. We are going to have the Illyrian Reaver Archers. And if we do see in here, we're also going to be having the Heralds of the Wind. Heralds of the Wind will have 105 speed, making them the fastest skirmish cavalry in the game. And they're going to be very good here in this matchup. We're going to have four units of the Rangers with their anti-infantry. And we're also going to be accompanied by the War Lions of Chase. Anti-infantry, armor piercing, and very, very good here with their monstrous war beasts. We're going to have a couple of units of cavalry here as well, so we're going to have the mid-tier silver helms, two units of those, the very fast Illyrian Reavers as well, with that light armor there for 90 speed, and the very elite in the back here, the Dragon Princes. We're going to be having two units of those, and they're going to be very good at cleaning up shop here against all of that elite infantry. We're also going to be having Alariel the Radiant, she's going to be having the Star of Avalon, Arcane Conduit, Tempest, Earthblood, the Shieldstone of Isha, and the Shield of Safri. These are two very good builds here, one very aggressive, and the second one here in a massive box shape form. So if we do skip on here and we allow all the entities to catch up as there's quite some distance here, going to be very good. A little bit early coming out the doors, I think, here for the Illyrian Reaver Archers. They're going to be getting shot quite a bit here from the anti-large Reaper Bolt Throwers. Also going to be walking to combat a little bit still on the left-hand side. You can see that there's going to be some Dragon Princes just being a little bit slow here. We are going to see some turn and burn from the Reaper Bolt Throwers, and they're going to get some good value here. It looks like we did actually have a Tempest going down. Some really good damage on the Harpies, and now this is where it all starts to get interesting. Very nice screening here coming from the Dark Riders. Coming over here just to make sure that these very nice Illyrian Reaver Archers don't get too close with that 140 range and they can start picking apart these reaper bolt throwers or maybe getting in and start shooting up against these very elite sisters of singing doom in the front here we are going to have the rangers which are very good with their anti-infantry and will certainly chew apart dread spears but they will be struggling here up against the sisters of singing doom and the elite black guard of nagaron really struggling with that lack of ap Nice charge here coming with the Silver Helms. They're doing pretty well up against the Dread Spears as they really don't have too much AP and 90 armor here for the Silver Helms. The nice push coming down here from the Harpies. Harpies don't necessarily have that much AP, but pretty good AP per model in general for a flying unit. Over here on the right hand side, we are going to see a good charge coming in from the Dragon Princes and the Rangers. It's going to be a counter coming in with those Dread Spears and the Harpies with the Sisters of Singing Doom forcing that rampage here from the Dragon Princes. It is going to force out a very nice Earthblood to heal. And it's going to be that maintained combat here for the Dragon Princes. Looks like Alario has been shoot using the Reaper Bolt Thrower. She's going to be down to nearly half already. We are, going to see a, we are going to see a Star of Avalon that has been forced upon this box here. And this right hand side is going to be holding. But there's a lot of elite infantry on the side that it is going to be fighting alongside. You know, like here, the Warlines of Chase have been pushed into the Black Guard of Nagrond. And that's really not a good engagement for them there. So unfortunately they are going to be going down pretty quickly. They are also going to be anti-infantry armor piercing as well. But the Black Guard of Nagrond are just far too much here for them to deal. There's not quite enough models and they really need to be supported by rangers. 
We do actually have the Illyrian Reaver archers. They are going to be shooting here in the pocket. A nice charge in the back here from the Illyrian Reavers. As they really do try and get into the box here with the anti-large Reaper bolt throwers. We do actually have the Cephalite Assassin nice and close. He has 800 weapon strength here with his very, very nice bow. Also coming in with that poison, which just makes it very good here at disrupting all sorts of cavalry units. Over here on the left-hand side, Alario the Radiant has been terrified and broken as we do see the combination of Marathi and the Death Hag over here and the Sisters of Singing Doom. It does actually look like Alario the Radiant was rampaging over here, giving that negative melee defense as well, and she really has been dealt with quite quickly. And this is looking already pretty scary here as Balance of Power is pushing into the Dark Hell favor. Shots are still coming in for the Illyria Reaver Archers, and whilst these guys are still on board there's always a victory on the cards here for the high elves we just have to make sure they get the correct engagements and it's like here there is going to be some cycle charging into the dread spears really getting into the back and shutting down these reaper bolt throws as well we're going to have all three shut down now so that's a perfect breakthrough here from the high elves but what does it cost them here it really has cost them a lot rangers are going to be breaking silver helms have been rampaged with the dragon princes as well up against the sisters of singing doom making them just so excellent here in this matchup really enforcing engagements perhaps the high elves really do not want harpies as well coming in and really destructing up against the the radiant arcane conduit and earthblood going down on her and really going to get some good value here very nice tempest coming in to disrupt harpies as well in the sky actually breaking them and forcing them from coming to assist shattered both units which is absolutely amazing there getting rid of these units is just so so key in the back here though, it looks like we are going to have some Silver Helms and some Dragon Princes that might very quickly go down here if you're not careful. The Death Hag, which is supported by the Black Guard of Nagrond and Marathi, coming in with all of those negative stats. 14 melee attack for Dragon Princes is absolutely absurd. Keeping the Death Hag and Marathi close together with that negative 23 melee attack is such a good play here from RTK Kafka. In the back though, we still have three units of the Illyrian Reaver Archers, including the very fast Heralds of the Wind, and that is always dangerous at any stage of the game, especially when we get to this late stage. So it's like here, we still have some Sisters of Singing Doom. I'd love to see some shots going into these ladies. You're going to be getting some really, really good value there, as they only have five armor. They also don't have that bronze shield, because they don't come with dodge, so they are really susceptible here to being shot. And so we have shattered the Dread Smears as well. So this box has been broken, but it has cost a lot here for the High Elves. And we do have a lot of healing left from Alariel the Radiant. We're going to be having some Earth Bloods, and we also have some very good Arkham Conduits to come. We still have some anti-infantry here for the rangers, but we do have an elite unit of Black Guard of Nagrond here in the pocket, and as long as that stays alive, with both of these units, apologies, we are still going to be in this game as the Dark Elves. Mobility is going to be highly favouring the High Elves, but Balance of Power does favour the Dark Elves quite a bit. A lot of that is going to be down to Alaria with a healing cap. She's only going to be having 640 health left. As you can see, very good stuff coming in from Kafka, really showing how good he is at this game, really clearing out units where you can. It's going to be terrifying here, the Rangers and the Sisters of Singing Doom are going to be pushing them off. And this is what you need to do at the top level of the game. When you have the opportunities to chase off certain units, you need to take that opportunity. If you can get a free win here, there and everywhere, that is absolutely what you must take. It's going to be staking as a, as a really, really tight blob, and you absolutely must do this. And the reason you must do this is because you don't want any of your Dark Elf units to get picked off, because if they do get picked off, you do have the mobility advantage here on the High Elf side. So coming forward here, looks like they are going to be going into an engagement. It's just going to be some shots coming out of the Heralds of the Wind, and so it should be. You have all that ammunition. Get the value where you can. We're just going to skip on here a little bit whilst it does lose some of the ammunition. There's going to be at least six volleys here coming from the Heralds of the Wind. They just need to keep going back and forward here and hoping that they don't shoot too much into the Sisters of Singing Doom. Forces are going to be coming forward. There's going to be a very nice healing going on here in the back. It looks like we have shattered the Sisters of Singing Doom, and that's brilliant work coming there. This box needs to stay nice and tight. Balance of Power is now back to even where those Sisters are gone, so there's going to be no Rage mechanic here. Alario has gone back to 1.5k, really good healing from her. This box is very tight, and in it all comes. So there's going to be a mad charge here with the Rangers fighting up against the Black Guard of Nagaron. That anti-infantry is going to be exceptional, especially with the war lines coming in as well. That very good armor piercing, anti-infantry all coming in and trying to get onto these Black Guard of Nagron. They do have 100 armor and they can hold really well, but Marathi's negative stats here on top of the deck have that negative 23 melee attack is really going to pay dividends. And what a fantastic Soul Stealer here, really late, holding that Soul Stealer in the back pocket until this moment. It's absolutely crucial. It's going to be sucking all of the energy here out of all of these models, doing some really good damage to all of them as they did pop onto these very, very key end units. 
as we can see, a good charge coming in for the Warline. So we need to get this continuous cycle charging here as the Black God and Agron will absolutely chew apart Dragon Princes and all cavalry coming in. And it looks like here these Dragon Princes are going to be wavering. They could be falling down here. We do still have some Rangers, and this is super close right at the end of this stage. But it looks like it is going to be Balance of Power, and it is going to be a ginormous win here coming from the Dark Elves. Fantastic plays here coming in from both players and RTK Kafka did go through to the next round here in the semi-final of the Battle Mania Invitational and played absolutely excellently there on live stream. But he did come here with Marathi who were having 94 kills, 2000 damage value on foot, exceptional work with a really really clutch soul stealer there at the end. 430 from the Death Hag with 1400 from the Kafalite Assassin. Also going to have 150 for the Dread Spears, 250, 470, and 550. Really good work in there for 550 for these Dread Spears. They can really rack up some good units here against the High Elves. 1160 for the Sisters of Singing Doom, 2000 and 1330 from the Black Guard of Necron. Absolutely exceptional units here for the Dark Elves. 100 value for the Dark Riders, 420 and 215 for the Harpies, with 700, 450, and 870 here for the Reaper Bolt Throwers. From Alerio the Radiant, she got 650, and the Rangers 1,100, 300, 200, and 530 here in this matchup. 1,100 damage value is excellent from these Rangers, with 344 for the Illyrian Reavers, 570, and 810 from the Silver Helms, with the very good Dragon Princes getting 770, and 1,380. Also going to be getting from the Illyrian, uh, the, yes, the Illyrian Reaver Archers got 680, 430, and 970 here from the Heralds of the Wind, with the Warlines getting 380. Unfortunately, they didn't have too many targets to get onto. They probably would have been better fighting up against Dread Spears, but fighting here in the early game up against the very elite Black God of Nacron, unfortunately, they're not going to be so great for them. But what a fantastic game between these two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below about what you thought about the battle. And also, if you are new here, you can go into my description. You can check out my Discord here, where I have all of the amazing tournaments, videos, and all the good Total War Warhammer content coming in the future. And if you are brand new here, also maybe think about subscribing. But I've been your boy Logic. Take care of yourself during these times, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Take care.